We're gonna talk about the big mistakes which you're making as a beginner. I, I just made all the mistakes. So what's up lords, today we're gonna talk about the big mistakes which you're making as a beginner, as a like noob, like me pretty much, because I'm, I'm fresh to this game, I just started out and I came from the different game. That's, that's what caused me to make some yeah, big mistakes, uh, depending on big, like how you want to see them. So let's get right into it. At first, and that was probably one of my biggest mistakes, don't spend too early. Like don't go ham too early. As you can see in the login gift, this account is like 12 days old right now. So you have the um, three days of logging and then you have like your login gifts fifth day. So it's about 12 days old. We did spend quite a bit. Like I believe it's about two and a half or something. And <clears throat> I need to mention that the bundles which, which we are getting right now, like in the early stage of, of a kingdom, they are pretty much shit. <laughs> like as you as your kingdom gets older, there are way better bundles incoming, like the most of them, especially this instant progress, they are just bad. That's that's all I can say about it. Like if, if you start, um, I'm not saying like keep it like free to play at the beginning, but only spend if the value is like really good. And there are millions of sites in the internet where you can check the value of, of the bundle. So don't go too ham on the, the trash bundles. But you can always buy like the newbie special, which usually appears right here up in the front. And yeah, but don't do so too much. Like, um, have a look into order kingdoms. Maybe go make an account, um, migrate to order kingdom to just see what kind of bundles they have, and then you will understand pretty much why. I showed you the other account in my previous video and they have like way better bundles it's like it's such a different hold on we can actually go check it so here we are on the other account just to check the shop really quick like those are bundles which you most likely don't have in new kingdoms like some of them you do have but especially the boot camp that's like one of the best if not the best bundle for training groups you just don't have it in, in a new kingdom um also the massive discount for getting this Okay, tomes which you do need a lot, especially if you're spending and plan to push a little bit. Um, tons of tokens, this value is so great because you do get a lot of um, shit from the Kingdom Tycoon. You just don't have them in the early stage of Kingdom. That's that's like the, the biggest problem, bursting with witches. So if you do wait for those bundles, you to end up spending a shit ton less money, especially in the early. And that's why I just mentioned don't don't overstress it. Like don't don't do too much in the early, like in the first ten days. After I believe after ten days it was the case that the best or the better bundles we are showing off. So Carpe Diem, the best bundle for research speedups. Like the, the pop-up bundles give you something like 90 hours for every euro you spend, but without resources. This bundle gives you about 160 hours with resources. So that's like just to have you in um, comparison of the bundle value. It's like get, getting you nearly the double amount of speed ups plus gems. Plus you can buy this bundle with this one plus one coupon. And you also get resources. That's like such big difference. So that was the first point. Um, hold on on spending a little bit. Wait for the better bundles to pop off. And then you can go ham. Because the first 10 to 12 days, there's nothing is will be decided in the first 12, 10 to 12 days. Like you can chill. Just take your time. That's, that's what I'm saying. So for the second point, do check out the guides in the internet. I can't stress this enough. 
especially if you're a beginner, there are so many good guides in the internet. Like this one is for spending, like which bunny gives you the mouse. You can just, um, big shout out to this Lord's Mobile Pro. It's a really good um, site, I'm using it a lot. You do can check, like for research packs. He's telling you which bunny is giving you the best value for tomes. Then also, if you want to go monster hunt, there are specific heroes which you need for specific monsters. So if for example hunting the queen bee, um, you can see which heroes you should use. Of course you can figure it out yourself, but you can also just use this side. The next one, don't push too fast. I'm chilling for five days now because others need to get like at the same level because in this game that's that was my mistake i i'm coming from another game the kingdom is united so everyone is like happy if you if you're pushing if you're pushing too fast and that was the case here absolutely like we had the i don't know the third day or the fourth day first time when the base opened i was already at 150 million power everyone else was like at 40 million so no one was even trying to fight because it's absolutely yeah it makes sense because you are having t4 you're having t4 tech you're having like more stats and stronger troops why should they even fight you i mean if there are more people which they were not because i made the mistake and i wasn't the biggest guild while um, being the biggest player in this kingdom um, but if if there were many people and they could fill valley and they could fill it like the base i can't do it alone but usually that's not the case so don't like you're taking away your fun if you're pushing too hard like if if, if the quad i mean no they push but if the two top girls would be like pretty even it would be fine then you, you then you can push so you can fight each other fight it out but if there's no second guild like pretty much the same power don't stress it up like take your time so just relax a little bit um if you push do yourself a favor and wait for help because I, I wasn't at, at the beginning, I wasn't waiting for help. I wait for your study helps to get in. It saves you at one research, it don't save a lot, but it do end up big. Like it, it adds up. If I would have done this, it would have saved me probably 100 days or so. Totally and added up. So that's well you should definitely be waiting for especially if you're free to play you want to save your speed ups you want to save every single piece what you have my next point um having a strategy for for upgrading your castle for upgrading everything i would always recommend you especially at the beginning to just push your castle because once you push your castle you can get more helps and those helps save you i, I believe it's one percentage of the total speed up um necessary or of the total time so imagine you're being castle 15 and you get another 10 percentage that's that's what what it seems to be that helps a lot so focus on castle getting it up to let's say 20 or even 25 but at least 17 because 17 is necessary for taking part in the most of the events and once you've done this you can work off on everything else like at the real beginning you don't need troops so you don't need your hospital to be wide up you do need to make one at least because it's necessary to make your castle but that's enough like don't build 10 million resource nodes don't build 10 million hospitals 10 million manors and stuff like this that's absolutely waste like push one building each and if you're lacking on resource yeah you could build but please don't build food because look at the upkeep like i don't know how many foods i need to build to get this upkeep 
That's absolutely useless. Just keep it out of your, or take it out of your bag. And if you do need some, just ask in the guild. Like, um, everyone's here to help and everyone's happy to help, especially the bigger players. If they do have food, it's pretty much useless for them because they do have a high upkeep. That do their troops need food. Um, for research, I've seen many people like doing really weird shit here. Once you start this game, your focus is to get as much building speed as possible. So you go into economy and you focus on getting your construction speed up as high as possible because it's giving you 70%. That's crazy. Like, do get it up. You do need everything else as well if you're going for T4, but fuck it. Construction speed, that's it. You could get, go for resource harvesting, but I wouldn't. I, I would just go construction speed, then you could go for military, like get your way to T2, maybe tier 3, but you don't need to. Tier 2 is fine for the beginning. Um, if your kingdom is like 10 days in, you should aim for tier 2. Uh, tier 3, sorry. Um, but for, for the beginning, tier 2 is fine because you will end up building a lot of tier 2 later on. So you, you, there's nothing wrong with building tier 2. Meanwhile, you're like upgrading the rest so you keep your, your training center always running. <clears throat> then you should go for Monster Hunt. Because Monster Hunt, it's giving you so many rewards that's crazy and you do get energy every day every single day so go for monster hunt make your way to the um, level two maybe spend a little bit monster hunt damage so you need less energy for more uh, for the same damage or you make same energy more damage however you want to see it and then you're good to go like you don't need to rush to monster hunt four that's like I could hunt monsters level 4, but I don't do it because if my energy bar fills up, I'm currently at 40k limit. That's not enough to kill a level 4 monster. I, I do need to use my energy in the bags and um, I don't want to. I want to keep it until there's an event that this game gives me extra reward, like extra juicy stuff for, for, for killing those, four swings for killing those whatever's on the map right now like th that that should be your plan have a look for generally speaking have a look for getting extra reward for whatever you're doing like if if you do train if you do train troops have a look then that there is a hell event and a solar event going on for training troops if you do big research or big buildings like if you say okay I'm, i want to push right now wait for good solo events and hell events to be like the, the universe needs to be in line that, that's 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 what needs to be here and then you can go ahead for it same shit for heroes honestly I, i'm seeing people making heroes like um especially this big guy over right here um you you can buy but you need to be aware of that you only buy him for the beginning. Like 30% attack with no health and no army attack. That's, that's useless later on. You, you can get it for the 30% uh, extra construction speed and because for the beginning it's cool, but I wouldn't spend it. And same is for the free to play heroes. Like <clears throat> you don't need many of them. At the beginning, don't get me wrong, you will need a lot of, uh, or pretty much all of them, but not at the beginning. At the beginning, what I will do, I will try to focus like five heroes to get a five heroes equally. Like the Rose Knight is pretty good. If you do have this three or five hero at the beginning to get her, that's really cool. Um, Tracker is really, really good. Petite Devils pay to win. Um, if you do a spend, she's really good. Um, what else? Um, Shadow of Light is really, really good. I would absolutely focus here. 
Um, Snow Queen is used a lot and Black Horse also used a lot and Prima Donna, she's basically your healer. If you do spam, you could um, use Lowy instead. Uh, I'm not a hero uh, professional because I'm young to this game. So there are a million videos about heroes and we will do make one as well later on. But what I want to say here, do focus on like five heroes, that's it. And then I personally would go for heroes which give me, no, no, here, yeah. construction speed. This hero is free to play. You can get her, you can get her up to probably also gold. She's giving you construction speed because if you're not spending big, if you're not the rail rally leader of your kingdom, you do not need all those heroes. You, you should really focus on getting your economy one and getting like saving speed up, saving, saving whatever you can save. And this little beauty here saves your speed ups because it's giving you 20 percentage construction. Uh, con what the fuck is this? One. 20 percentage construction speed. Um, this little Gandalf as well, um, he's giving you construction speed, 20% if you max him. So that's what I would look at. And that's also what I maybe mess up a little bit because it's fine. I'm having heroes for all army types. I can do rallies, but it probably would have saved me quite a lot. That's, that's for sure. Um, gear. Don't touch gear at the beginning. Wait until you're level 55, 50, until you can do the, the good shit. Um, like this one here, the, the field arms are pretty good. Wait until you can get those and then make yourself a plan because once you made this gear, you can dismantle it, but you lose so much. And if, if you're Every piece of gear have one type which is extremely hard to get. And if you don't get this back, it's pretty much waste. <laughs> because you, you will have a lot of the other ones. Like, okay, that's a bad example. Like, here, I, I need one seed. The rest, I, I do have a lot. Like, if I max this out, I look at this, I have 10 golds of this. Probably like 12 or something, 14 of this, and I do need this one seat. And if, if I make one more decision with gear, it's, you, you lost a little. And especially if you're free to play, because getting one of those to gold, free to play, takes some time. You, you can end up lucky, but usually it just takes time. Um, at the beginning, Focus on your research set and on your building set. There are sets which are giving you so much construction speed, so much research speed. Focus on them, start building them, because as example, if, I, if I'm doing research right now, and I'm doing it without my research set, I'm having like 140 percentage, I do need 20 days. If I say change to my research set, it's saving just five days and that's small research. I'm of course I'm now at the one tree, I'm in the attack tree. Like I have attack talents now, no research talents. That's why it's still taking so long. But this saves a ton and it's absolutely free to play doable because all the stuff you need to make those fluid you do can get by just gathering resources on the map. Here's my resource report. As you can see, I'm getting this materials and those for free. I mean, you do need the resources anyway, but I'm currently gathering for the materials, or for, not even for the resources. The resources are nice and fine, but I'm, usually I'm getting asked like five times an hour, yo, can you send me this? Can you send me this? So, I don't have anything from the resources, but I'm happy to help, so. Um, and don't do something else, especially don't touch any champion gear. Like if you can see this, 
Um, I made the mistake and was building like one wrong piece right at the beginning because I thought I would probably go for infantry and I did not. I, I went for something else. And um, yeah, so I had to dismantle it. I was lucky I got the mains back, but those sh this shit is expensive. So just don't touch it. Wait for three, four weeks until you're deeper in the game. You're not losing anything. Like there's nothing you you need to, you can't skip on. Um, Monster Hunt. Also a really uh, big thing, which I messed up completely at the beginning. If I gonna use my monster and set and we, uh, for example, use, I will look for level three, because level four takes hours. Mm, level three, no on the map. Yes, level three. So, <clears throat> at, when I started, I just pulled the, the bar all the way up and thought, like, okay, damage boost times seven. Sounds good. Let's hit it. But it's absolutely a waste of energy, I'm telling you. Like, in your um, research, you're coming to Monster Hunt, you're getting those aggressive hunter. Hunts in a row limit. What that actually means is like if you're hunting in a row the same monster in in one hour, like you have a one hour window to hit it, you're getting those extra bonus damages, like successfully hunt squints increase damage against monsters. So if I hit this dude now, you can see I have 13% extra damage. I can stack those up. Um, equally to how many research I did for this. So let, just let's do one, two more of it. So I can show you better. And if you're gonna spend more energy, like if you're hitting a couple of monsters, so secure you use this monster hunt damage attack boost, you do get a lot of them, so you can just use it. And in my research, it's telling me I have eight limit here at 8 limit here, which if I'm not mistaken, um, makes up 16. I guess my math teacher would be proud of me. Um, so I, I can get 16 hands in a row, and then my damage will be probably like 200 something. And now I'm hitting for 8%. If I'm waiting for having at least 10 hands in a row, then I'm not hitting for 8%, I'm hitting in fact for probably 24. And then I still can go up and can use this damage boost because I need damage boost times three to, or times four to kill it like 100%. And I did this mistake at the right of the beginning and it cost me so much energy because I basically spent all my energy, which I got at the beginning. And especially if you're spending a little bit, you do get a lot. Like I'm telling you, you, you do get a lot of energy um, regarding to the um, events, which I currently add uh, on. Yeah, that's it. So monster hunt, do focus, do um, always stack up your, your monster hunt shit. And if you're spending um, the monster hunt, that's probably one of the best things which you can spend on early on. Once this pack is available for you, because it giving you extremely long-term value. That's that's crazy. Like you will hunt monsters. If you if you are addicted to this game, you will hunt monsters for the next ages. The next point is wrong tropes. Like I just recently had a guy, my guild, which told me that he just made four million tier three tropes. That's so useless. Like if, if you're planning to go tier four, you don't use them anymore. Like I, I, I'm using my tier three, which I currently have, just for like, if I YOLO hit a Zolo trap, then I want the street, tier three to just have a look how he's standing. Like I see in Phalanx, I see range or stuff like this. Um, don't overtrain troops. Like, 
The first point at the beginning, you don't need that many troops. You need like 100k, 200k, maybe 300k. Um, do something which you can, or do an amount of troops which you can hide, because if you lose them, they're wasted. And in fact, you do need troops for gathering, you do need troops for joining rally, but that's basically it. Like you, at the beginning, there's not much fight going on, which is worth to fight. Like that's 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 the whole point. Like I'm in the in the in the ranking pretty low because I'm not fighting everything. Like I don't see sense in going home and kill small people because that's the fun in it. Like the fun of uh, Mike was example. He he's doing a solo trap and that's he's bullying other people. That's what I fight. Because let everyone else grow first. Like you're not something special because you're 40 million above hitting smaller people. That's for me. It's not my sense of the game because it was fun. The smaller people will just whether quit or migrate. And then they're gone. And then the kingdom will probably slowly die. That's stupid. Um, but whatever. Um, later on, you do need two types of troops. T4, that's what you use for hitting, and tier 2, that's what you use for mainly defending, because your low tier troops will die first. So if, if I had a city and I can show you, I probably saved the report. Yeah, I, I'm saving the report. <coughs> um, there was a small rally on him, and he unfortunately had two less troops um, that you can see correctly, but if I'm hitting him and he would have more tier 2, which absolutely makes sense, especially for playing a trap, I would have killed tier 2 first, which are way easier to build and way cheaper to build. And after I killed all the tier 2, I would start attacking the tier 3. Uh, that's what the, how the game is doing it. Of course, I'm attacking all of them, but the tier 2 first dies. And so you can rather build some tier 2 if you want to defend your city for whatever reason. You can also just shield and um, make like, I don't know, 100, 200k t t 3 each. That, that's absolutely fine. That's absolutely enough. You don't need even more. Like everything above is based, I would say. I, I'm, I might like 400k or something. Yeah, 400k, some of them already died. And now I'm not kind of regretting it because I, that, that's not that much, but don't overtrain. You don't need them anymore. <laughs> like, especially early in the game. Like, I, I showed you, I have a bunch of training speedups, but I'm not training them because you never know if the kingdom dies or not. And if the kingdom dies, you need to pop off, you need to migrate out. And for this case, you want to draw power, you want to get your might lo as low as possible so you don't need shit ton of migration squads. So, relax with troops. If, if there's a war, you can always train. There's, you don't need to train before. Like, if, if there's a war going on, take those three minutes and train a couple millions. Because in this game, it's going so fucking fast, it's unbelievable. Um, uh, don't over hesitate to tier 3 because you're not using them so long. For the last point, especially for spenders, regardless which budget you have, I can extremely recommend making one account in the Young Kingdom, just start a fresh account, play it for four to five days, or maybe a week, or maybe two, maybe even a month, and then restart and then you can start spending on a new account on a fresh account because in all those war games all those mobile games they're designed to make you spend money of course there are always pop-up bundles especially if you upgrade your city hall if you upgrade your city hall you do get at city hall level 17 21 23 and some lower levels as well bundles which are really really good and if you skip them, you skip the bundle, which is really, really good. <laughs> um, 
get yourself a, a view from the game if you're not sure that you straight want to spend money into it. Because if you are spending, of course later on there will be better bundles, but the pop-up bundles are usually one of the biggest value in every single game, especially the ones which are um, from your city. Like, also though, no, those are, yeah. For the Star Scrolls, also this pop-up bundle is one of the best, but it's popping up every single day, so don't care about it. Um, it's, it's good if you need it, but you don't need to like over hesitate it. So maybe just take an account. I probably should have done it also. Like uh, if I would played two weeks and then restarted, I would have played a little bit differently. Because especially if you're like it's building what I mentioned with uh, heroes with construction speed, that's all adding up, saving you so much time, that's crazy. And one bonus, I totally forgot it, your techno labs. Like there is a kingdom lab where you can get techno labs. Here is it. Sorry, pretty late, I overviewed it. Those techno labs. If you can chill, don't use them yet because one techno lab is taking off later on, like seven to nine days, and much later, even way more. If I'm hitting a resort right now, it's saving me now seven days. And that's what I would, what I should have used them for. I was at the beginning using them for three days, and that's. Looking backwards, that, that wasn't worth it because I would just wasted four days for every two techno labs. So for every techno lab, I wasted four days of speed ups, which I now have to compensate with um, money. Shut up and take my money. So relax on them. Like use them later on. Put them aside. Chill. Don't use them yet. You can wait for those bigger research that will come in, like with six to nine days and. There will be people telling you, you know, don't use them for this or this research. Fuck them. It's your account. Use them for whatever you want. Like, if you want to use them for Monster Hunt because you're thinking Monster Hunt is giving you the biggest progress right now, go for it. If you want, okay, that's really bad value, but if you want to use it, go for it. Then um, always have a look that you're saving at least three to four days with one techno lab. If, if, if it's it would be good if it's six, don't use this because the value um, of techno labs to speed ups is pretty bad. Relax with them and use them carefully. So that's it. There was a couple which mistakes I made because it was pretty much personal experience which I've gone to, which I've gone to like the hard way because I, I just made all the mistake pretty much all I guess yeah pretty much all uh, like I, I didn't went too crazy on tier 3 but that was it stay tuned for more content and if you have any question like write it down in the comments or just message me in game see ya